A day Cleveland, Northeast Ohio, and the nation will never forget. How did you find out about your sister? On the news, just now, that my sister was found. May 6, 2013, a shocking discovery on Seymour Avenue. Help me, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. The girl Amanda told the police, I ain't just the only ones, it's some more girls up in that house. Three women trapped for years, finding their way to freedom. No one rescued them, they rescued themselves. First by staying strong and by sticking together. This morning, we hear from one of the survivors who's turning that tragedy into triumph. Really hard to believe that tomorrow marks 10 years since Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight were reunited with family and friends after being held captive in a Cleveland home. But a lot has changed since then. A whole lot, including Michelle's name. She now goes by Lillian Lee. And I got the chance to sit down and talk to her about how her life has changed and how a passion of hers is helping others experiencing trauma. Lillian Lee is an amazing example of a woman who survived unimaginable evil and darkness and transformed her pain into a life of love and light. Tell me about the Lillian then and the Lillian I'm looking at right now. I am going to tell you that was a very scary, um, distraught individual and she had to find herself. She had to find who she was, where she wanted to go, and who she wanted to be. And I have found myself. And I'm proud of, very proud of who I became and the beautiful butterfly that I came in to be. I've seen you out. I've been with you places. Your faith in God has been the big change factor for you. Tell us about that. I would say I let God guide my hand in my heart through every obstacle that I've ever been through. Because I've had some challenging things in life. I had people that came into my life generally just to be there because of who I was. Instead of understanding and loving me for who I am. Lillian shared after her rescue from Seymour Avenue, she didn't have the support and care from her family. So she found that special love and understanding in animals. Today, she has her own nonprofit, Unleashed Animal Rescue, connecting animals to people who have experienced trauma. I get to just generally be in peace with the animals and they bring pure joy into my life at a difficult moment when there was no joy, there was no happiness, and I didn't know where I was gonna go at that point. She calls them her rescue angels, birds, frogs, squirrels, baby chicks, rabbits, turtles, and dogs. I see a little head bob, I see a little head bob. <laughs> kind of liking this, Lillian, I'm kind of, am I okay? Yeah, you're I'm, good. I'm doing good, hello. And she's saying hi to you, that's hi. how she says hi. Hello. Another thing that brings her peace is her art. It's a healing tool. I love my art because it's from me. And it gave me a great way to release my frustrations, my anger, and just the things that were going on on a daily basis. Why do you think it's still important for you to share your tragedy to triumph story? I want every young, old baby to know that they're not alone, that there's somebody that went through similar situations, and to know that their story is important, their voice needs to be heard, and they need that love. Lillian showed me her willow tree and said it symbolizes who she is. A willow tree has the ability to grow, survive, and thrive in challenging conditions. Lillian has done that, and she wants other victims of trauma to do the same. I want them to be able to come into their own. I want them to turn into that beautiful butterfly. You want them to let their light shine. Yes. Yes. That's what I see when I see you. I see your light shining. Uh, I had such a great afternoon with her. And this weekend, Lillian is sharing more about her life right here in Cleveland. She's holding an event at Windows on the River down in the Flats this Sunday. Tickets are on sale right now online, and proceeds will go towards her nonprofit, Unleashed Animal Rescue.
And Danita, of course, May 6th was also the day we were introduced to this man who helped rescue the women, Charles Ramsey. His live interview with News 5's John Kosick during our coverage was seen all across the world and went viral online. Of course, stay with News 5 here today. John's going to take a look back 10 years later. And I think we all remember where we were yes. when news broke initially. And just hearing that 911 call, you know, when we started this, just kind of almost brings goosebumps it to you. It brings know? you right back to where yeah. you were. And, I mean, all of, all of the young women, I mean, their resiliency yeah. to come out of that horrifying experience to live a life now that they love and they found joy mm -hmm. uh, and just to see Michelle thrive and want to help others who are experiencing trauma, that is a good sign of the faith that she yeah. believes in to keep her going. She looked great. Really yeah. great story. Thanks, Danita.